Hello everyone and uh, welcome to iExamB. In this video, I'm going to talk about sources to prepare for basic programming in C++, Java or Python. So as we all know that uh, in SEBI IT phase two examination, you are required to code the coding questions in at least one of these language. You have three options out of which you have to choose one option and you have to code the problem in that language out of C++, Java and Python. So this video is for all of those people who struggle to find good resources to prepare for the basic programming. Also, this video caters the need of the people who haven't started with the coding or programming in their life, but they are preparing for this exam. So what I suggest to everyone is to go to the official documentation of each one of them. For that, I have uh, made this video. And in this video, you will get uh, the links to uh, have those official uh, pages and then you can explore them and can learn them. So what is the basic uh, importance and benefit of having the reading from the official sources? So the very first thing is that you get to know uh, what is included in which version as well as you will get to know which all functionalities are there and what all different type of variations for those all functionalities are there. For example, a function might be overloaded to many extents. So you will get the entire information there and that information will not have any errors. Uh, like it is not like 100% true, but definitely it is more than 99% accurate. Uh, so you will get the precise information and then uh, from there you will not be misdirected to any other direction and you can prepare for a programming language. Because what we need to do for SEBI is that we need to hold a good command over any one of the language and at the same time we have to learn the coding skills so these two things are very different we at iexam you cater the second one but the first one has to become like uh, has to come from you so for that i am preparing this video for the sources i hope you got the agenda of the video and now i will show you one by one which all sources you can use for which all languages so let's start with the python language so for the python sources uh, you can go to python.org website and there you can see uh, the downloads if you want to have an id for the python as well as you can see the documentation you can see everything and you can learn the programming language very easily and can integrate with your system more effectively. This is the basic uh, look and feel of the web page, which is the first web page. I have taken the screenshot of the first web page uh, so that you don't get any other page. Or uh, maybe there are some changes in the web link and then people get redirected to different one. Also, the link from where you can read the Python tutorials that has been pasted next to the screenshot. I will also show uh, where you can uh, find that particular thing and how you have to read it. So now you see that I am here with the same link which I mentioned in the video. So now in this Python tutorial, you can see there is an introduction about Python language and then you have these entire links. So let's say if you want to understand uh, what you are going to learn, how Python interpreter work and what you can do with the Python. These are things you can get as an introduction here. Then a formal introduction to Python will include how you can use the Python as calculator. There you have numbers, text and list, how you can use them. Then first step towards the programming. You can see this particular flow is very basic for the beginner as well as for the advanced people. You can just read through the lines. If you feel you are comfortable with that concept, you can skip that content. Otherwise, you can proceed one by one with each one of them. Then you can see after completion of the basic stuff, they are going for the statements if, else, range, break, continue, every statement is being there. Then how the arguments works, the keywords, those kinds of different things. Then you see the data structures here, how Python with different data structures work. So like using the stacks, using list queues, these all things are there, sets, dictionary, looping techniques, everything is there. Then there are more modules if you want to learn more about the data uh, in the Python language, like packages and everything. Uh, then for the input output also, how to take the input, what are different ways of taking the input, how to give the output and all those things. Then you have errors and exceptions. Classes are there, which will come under the oops concept. So you can see if you will prepare in this manner, if, you're, if you are a beginner and you don't know any one of the language, the best language from where you can read is the Python language. So I will say go with this link only. Don't go here and there with different sources because you won't get this kind of fulfilling content in any place. Also, at the same time, this is very handy. You don't need to carry any book for this. There are books also for this, but that will be so outdated sometime uh, and you might need a different latest version and that might not be available in the market as a hard copy also. 
so i will suggest you to go and learn through this particular link which is currently shown on the screen and then it will be all good for you and you can learn about all the oops concepts everything whatever you want to learn and see this if you end this it is not like only the beginner level it is more than a beginner level and you get all the tools in your hand so this is the link and these are the uh, topics if you can click on any one of them and you can get redirected to that particular topic and you can prepare for that python okay you can also choose the different uh, version here also you can see which version you want to read on so you know that python's version will be different what is currently available in the market at the same time it will be different what sebi is going to use so you can just switch on to that particular version and can choose that version and can learn about that version only so that you are up to date and you know what all things are provided in that version that you can use in the exam also now this was about the python language now let's go to the source for the c++ so for the source of c++ i personally refer the cpp reference and here i have attached the screenshot and i will show you the uh, link as well so this is the web page which you will get for c++ uh 11 14 17 20 23 and 26 as well and the compilers which are also supported so you can just go and click whichever uh, version you want to read and then you get all the information you can see for the languages if you want to learn about the language what all things in the language are there then for the memory management iterator algorithms how the things are basically working you will get entire thing like if you want to read about date and time libraries this is very important function so everything is specific and everything non specific is given here how to use regular expression then how you can use the container libraries the list and then all everything so classes function and everything you can see if you will cover this first section of the language you will be done with the language then the other things you can read as per the syllabus you can read string libraries so that you will get a clear idea for the string manipulation in the exam so what i suggest uh if there is any new functionalities which mentions like c++ plus 17 or c++ 20 it means you ha don't have to read that because you first have to get the understanding what uh, version of c++ they are using in sebi it pariksha that you can get to know from the previous year also definitely it is not c++ 11 or 14 or 17 it is less than c++ 11 so according to that which all do don't mention c++ 11 or anything you can read them so that you have a good kind of tool thing in your hand okay so this is the entire c++ uh, reference if you want to learn about some c language stuff also you can know from the c reference also so this particular link is completely uh, like uh, beneficial as well as it is authentic and it won't offer you anything else extra or anything else apart from the basic show. so that is the thing that you can refer for the cpp reference and uh, now we'll move back to the java sources so for java there are many sources and you can refer many sources but uh, i personally feel that oracle is one of them where we can start it so i will now show you the web page for the oracle and the web page for oracle something like it looks like this where you have the java documentation so you can also change all the see the changes in the java languages in the summary which is updated in the standard edition you only need to read from the standard edition there is no need to read from the enterprise edition so you can just uh, stick to the standard edition then what all things you are required so how to learn the java language basic java classes collection date time apis all those things you can learn you can skip the graphical user interface because that is not the part of the course also once you go inside one link you will get to know what all things you need to learn so this all things you don't need to learn which are shown in the lower part but you need to learn about the trails covering the basics so that all things you need to learn once you click on any particular link you will be uh, like a uh, redirected to that link and you can learn from that so these are the three important sources for each one of the language i do not prefer more than this because then it will be a kind of misleading thing always stick to one source and that source should be official so this is my reference and source uh, for to all the people who every time ask from where we should prepare you should always prepare with the official documentation the standard thing so i hope this video was useful for all of you and you guys get a good idea from where you have to start for the sources and even if you are like uh, you learn something and you forget something you can stick back and lie on these resources to check whether uh, what current happening is there and you will, you don't have to go and search in any book or to like google further links to get to know if you leave something behind or not so these are very good and official sources so my personal opinion will be to only stick with those sources.
now if this video was useful for you and if you like this video do hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you are an unsubscribe user because we will keep bringing on very good content and uh, important information for all the government exam for that you have to also hit the bell icon so that you get the latest notification whenever we will bring any video for you also if you have any query you can just uh, write to us at hello at examb.com or on the number which is flashed on the screen you can just give us a ring at the same time prepare 50 percent faster with high examby by going to our course that is available on www.ixambi.com just choose which particular exam you want to enter and just see the demo offering and everything there it will give you a clear idea so if you are making your mind to prepare don't wait for this just go to our website and start a preparation so that was all from my side Till then I keep bringing the new videos, keep practicing and stay updated.